Hey everyone, Arlene here with another project for Graphic 45. Today I want to share a altered heart gift box with you guys. And I created this using Graphic 45's Sweet Sentiments paper collection. I used a combination of the 8x8 as well as the larger 12x12 papers. Um, and then I used uh, quite a number of the staples uh, products by Graphic 45 on the box as well. I have a tutorial for you guys at the end of this video, just letting you know in advance that at the end it sort of get cuts off. So I don't show the entire process of putting the actual embellishments onto the box, but at least I show you how I got started. Um, really cool process if you haven't altered um, a project before. Um, this used to be a raw uh, balsa wood, I guess it's called balsa wood, I'm not sure, uh, or pine wood. Um, box that you can pick up at Michael's and it's amazing what you can do with a plain looking box. So uh, in the tutorial I show you exactly how I got the papers on and how I prepared all of the lace and everything on the outside. I just didn't show uh, too much of how I did the, um, the, the layering and stuff on the front. Okay, so let me go ahead and talk through the box really quick with you guys. Um, so basically this was a heart. Here let me show you the bottom of the box so you can have an idea of what the, what the box looks like. So it's a heart shaped box. And um, what I did is I primed everything with gesso and I painted it with um, an ivory white acrylic paint. And then I layered on some of the design paper here. I just took strips of the 12 by 12 paper and ran that um, all the way around and adhered everything down with, um, I think I used my Fabri-Tac glue on that. And I used Fabri-Tac as well to get all of the lace um, on the edge of the box. And then these pearl trims here, I layered down with hot glue. It seemed to just work better. Okay, and there's some I am roses here. And actually these roses are perfect um, for where the, um, the pearls meet because they're not exactly like flushed in the front. So these kind of hide that so you can't really tell. And it's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, so on the front, you'll see I layered some doilies. I have some paper doilies here. I really love paper doilies. So let me start from the top here. I have one of the postage stamps here that I distressed and Use curled. the Prima Distress tool and then I just kind of curl the papers a little bit just to distress it and those and you could like use white acrylic paint on the edges and stuff but I kept this kind of simple. Okay um, you'll see I used a lot of different I am roses flowers here. Um, I used two different types of rosebuds. I have the pink one and the white one and then I have some pink roses and then I cut out a little butterfly from the paper collection. And these sprays here are from I Am Roses as well, just adding more layers to the um, to the project. And then over here, you'll see this really cute crocheted heart. Um, this is from uh, Bona's mom. Oh my god, these are so cute, you guys! I love them. She gave me um, some some ecru colored ones as well as some pink ones. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so in love. You'll see another one inside the box. Uh, over here, I have a Prima resin uh, angel or cherub and what I did is I took some of my uh, rub and buff and I rubbed some of that over the angel so it kind of highlights the um, the raised uh, portions of the of the resin piece. Down here I have a Michaels dollar frame. It was interesting this frame used to be um, like a shiny metal black and what I did is I painted it with gesso, painted it with acrylic paint after that and then I touched it up with rub and buff and you can't even tell it used to be a black frame. I decided to leave the, um, the glass Usually I'll just not leave the glass and I'll uh, Mod Podge the the paper inside, but I decided to leave the glass and there's a little image there of the little Cupid looking at the flowers and the butterflies and the flowers, and that's from the paper collection. Over here you'll see the metal label holder from Graphic 45 Staple Collection. Everything I, I took gesso and uh, the acrylic paint and then touched everything up with uh, rub and buff. And then I took Valentine from the paper collection. And then you'll see I layered some cheesecloth down here just to add another um, element of texture on the project. And then hidden back there is one of the ornate metal keys. And I have a little Prima plaque uh, 14 for Valentine's Day. And then under that I have the uh, ornate metal keyhole. And then more layering here of I Am Rose's flowers. Uh, I cut this out from the paper collection. It says, with all my love. Distressed it, of course, and popped it up a little bit. And then I cut out another little butterfly there from the paper collection. And then I have a postcard from the paper collection back there. You can see it. Okay, so that is the front of my box. 
And then it actually comes, it's really cool, it comes with a magnet, so it's already um, shut closed pretty tight with a magnet that comes with the box, but when you open it up, what I did is I just colored, uh, or colored, the painted the inside with the gesso and the the ivory acrylic paint, and then I added the, the floral, um, what do you call these? The rosette trim. You just cut them into individual little flowers, and you'll see I did that on the tutorial, and I just glued them down with some Fabri-Tac glue, and it's like a little cushion um, to put a gift inside there. So I could put like jewelry, or I can just put something really special in there. And then this is the front of the box, or the top of the box, the lid, the inside of the lid. I also did the rosette flowers in here, and I distressed and kind of curled uh, the little a picture of the cherub playing the cello from the paper collection and then forever and always I cut out from paper collection everything's distressed and kind of curly and I am Rose's flower and here's another one of those beautiful crocheted hearts Ugh, love them love 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 thank you auntie <laughs> that's from my best friend's mom um, so that is the inside of my box and it's ready for a gift to be put inside and it can be repurposed uh, once you gift uh, give the gift and the box to um, who you need to give it to. <laughs> and so um, so anyways, this is my um, altered Sweet Sentiments Valentine's Heart Shape Box. Hope you guys liked it and enjoy the tutorial. Again, it's, it's a portion of it's cut off, but hopefully you'll get the idea. And I'll have more detailed photos at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, check out the Graphic 45 blog, and I will have the link down below. Thanks, everyone. Bye!